So here is handsome Jack. And Jack is a Maine Coon. And isn't he stunning? Hey, he's gorgeous, aren't you? Now he's very, very timid because he's a rescue boy. So he's been rescued. He was skin and bone. He had no coat. And he's been rescued and brought been brought back to full health now. And he's he's just gorgeous, but he's very, very timid. Aren't you, boo? He's lovely. So he's been brought to us because he is matted down the flanks here, under his belly, and he gets a very mucky bottom when he goes to the toilet. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a belly clip and a hygiene trim and a groom over. Now the groom over, we're, we are actually going to have to do some clips. We've already said to mum, we might have to sh um, shave clip some of these away because the pelts are very, very big and tight here. But we're just going to nip away the odd one because his coat is nice and long and it should cover up. Mum's not bothered what he looks like because actually, you know, to have a coat on him is, is lovely. Um, you know, considering he didn't have a coat. So we're just going to take what's needed away. There's no point taking the whole coat off him and giving him a full clip. He doesn't need it. So we've just started grooming up on the top. And you know what? He is just such a good boy. He's just sitting here quietly. And we've done all the bib. We've done it all, you know, how, we, how I always say to you, start at the bottom and work your way through. And the difference in him already, he feels so silky up on the top. So we're just going to go through and carry on here. So again, molting comb. Always tell you, get yourselves a molting comb. Don't be bothering with those ferminators. Um, Mum was recommended to get a ferminator and they just pull on the good hair and it does hurt the cats. So go with a molting comb and literally, so you're going to pull up the fur with your hand, get yourself a little part line and go in on the part line and go through with the brush. So we've got a couple of little ones there. And you're going to go through until you're happy that there's nothing stopping you. And then a little bit more fur through again. And slowly but surely work up to the spine of the cat. And you will literally go through this coat section by section with the comb to check that there's nothing hiding. Now the main coons, they do have this double coat. So you have to make sure you're right in there. Until you get right up to the top. So there you go. So that's that little section. Happy with that. And you'll see what's arrived there off on the coat and then we'll just carry on so it'll be the next section with the comb so pull up all this fluff and go in again so we'll find a little part line i'm not going to get too low because he's actually having a belly clip so i'm going to start there and in we go so and if you feel resistant just gently until the comb goes through. Next little layer. And next little layer. Now, what I do as well, in between this, I'll put some spray in. So I'm actually, uh, I go between aloe vera and, and oatmeal, it just depends what comes to hand, but there is aloe vera actually in the oatmeal spray that I use anyway. Um, there we go, and it just stops a little bit of static coming on the comb. See what comes up. 
and we just get carry on up to the spine and then the next little section and we go again aren't you a good boy Ring. aren't you a very good boy you are <laughs> See what's coming out here, just from the comb. That's just one side, is it? Me? That's just one side that's on the floor. Mm. Um, now we're just starting on the flank on this side. It's amazing what comes out of the coats just when you're using the right technique and the right combs. There we go. That's that little section. And then we'll just keep moving on up. So what I do, I just do a little uh, <laughs> getting it all cut in my hair, caught in my, <laughs> my hand. All the wispy stuff, isn't it, Jack, coming off? There, there we go. Next little layer down and off we go again. Next little section. And again. Good boy, Jack. Look at this. First time rolled over. Good boy. What a good boy. So mum wants a belly clip because he is getting matted under there. Alright, Papa. Alright, good boy. Stay for me there. Good lad. Let's just have you back in place. That was a good boy, wasn't it? Oh, Jack. Come on, and again. Let's go again. And over we come. Good boy. Good boy, Jack. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Well. So he is a little matted under here. Let's take these matties away, mister. Hey. Give you a clean tummy. And start again. What a good boy. Lad. Okay. He's such a good boy, aren't you? Hey. Thank you. Hey. I'm just gonna come between these leggies. Good boy. So yeah, these are where the main mats are. It's where all the friction is. Hi, baby cakes. Good boy. Oh, okay, Papa. Okay, Papa. Let's turn it the other way. Let's go that way. And let's turn it that way. Good boy. What 
a good boy. Ready, baby? And over we go. What a good boy. Oh, Jack, you are such a good boy. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's just keep you stretched. Just keep you stretched. <laughs> He's trying to curl up to protect his tummy, which is only natural. So I'm just going to stretch him out a little bit. Stretch you out a little bit and get in there. There we go. What a good boy. So we're doing round his bum anyway because he um, mum wants him to stay clean when he's going to the toilet and that. So we're going to continue round the back and behind the back of the back legs. Good boy. Good lad. There we go. Give you a little break for a minute. What? So a lot of owners forget to brush tails and they're just as important. They do get matted, particularly these huge long haired breeds. So a case of hold the end of the tail and just do a little bit. Now what I use for the tail is actually, I don't use the molting comb because I don't want to pull a lot of hair out. Um, so I use the coarse comb. So that's just the thicker. No second tooth in between. And uh, it just lets me go through the tail without removing loads. And you literally hold the tail and brush beyond where you're holding. When you're happy there's nothing, move your hands up and come up to the next little section. So of course he's quite thick here. So again, you're holding so you're not pulling the hair away, you're holding up here with this hand while you're having a go here. So this is why tails do need brushing, because this is, there you go, I've got mats in. Go all around. That's it. And literally, you're just going to work your way down a little bit at a time. So you can see how matted that is there. It's not matted too much that, you know, I can't get the comb through. But it does need thinning. And we just keep continuing. And he is an absolute star pupil, aren't you, Jack? Hey, you're just sitting here. He's got a beautiful tail, hasn't he? Can't believe that. Huge. Very quiet. You are, Jack, aren't you? Yeah, normally chirpy chirpy. Okay. There we go. Very, and lovely tail to be proud of. You wouldn't believe that was just coming out of a tail, would you? So you can see the difference, so it's a bit like that's more <laughs> groomed. And this bit isn't. So again, hold the bone of the tail and just go in little by little. Now don't worry if you see little black bits. <laughs> it's, not, it's not fleas. He's got some little black bits appearing here in his tail. I've just noticed them. Okay. 
Now you might think it's flea dust, which you, you might you think, oh gosh, no, he's got fleas, but there was nothing else on his body. What it is, they can have, well, they have got glands in their tails here in this area, and it can just be the glands. So don't worry too much. Unless you see them crawling and then you know it's definitely fleas. <laughs> oh, Jack, what a naughty tail. What a naughty tail you had. Told the fair down there, isn't it? Lots of fluff off him. Mm -hmm. There you go. with that good lad right, I'm going to give him the once over and then he's finished so we'll come back and do his finish shot when his eyes are clean eh? now here we go that's Jack all finished the gorgeous Maine Coon very very well behaved boy aren't you so if Steve just pans down, you'll see what has come off him. A ton of fur. So we'll be feeling a lot lighter for that now. Hey, aren't you gorgeous boy? You really are a gorgeous lad. So that's Jack all done, ready to go back home. <laughs>